What did you guys uh, learn the first time around you played these guys? <clears throat> we just learned that we got to stop them transition. Um, and we know that they get a lot of threes up, especially um, fast break as well. So trying to stop stopping that. Um, and just we got to be more physical, especially me and Hilton. And we come out aggressive. We just know that we got to um, enforce our, our defense on them right away. We can't let them dictate it um, and push us back in our heels. So I feel like once we do that, um, it's going to be a good good start for us tomorrow. Caleb, tell us a little bit about what was going on with your back, how it's doing now, and then how you feel like you can help impact this game if you're available you know, the whole time. Yeah, I feel like I'm doing a lot better with my back. And you know, it's getting better each game, it feels like. So I felt like last game, I kind of left the team hanging, you know, couldn't compete out there with them. And I wish I could have like finished that game. So I'm just glad to get the opportunity to compete the rest of the game for the whole game, hopefully. And hopefully that makes an impact on our team in the game. I think TJ has described it as tightness in your back. Is that really it? Or is it spasms? Or what's, I guess, the pain problem for you? Um, well, it's, it's different, but like I would say, um, the, it's calming down a, a lot, but it still is tight in certain areas. It's just not as like large of margin. Like it's like more narrowed down to like certain spots instead of like the whole back. So yeah. Both of you guys, what does Oklahoma State do um, that makes their three-point percentage defense among the best in the Big Twelve, if not in the country? Um. I mean, I don't know. I really, I feel like we kind of just focus more on us. Um, yeah, they have length um, as they're in their guard play and their bigs, but I mean, more focused we are on us and how we can continue just to move the ball um, and share it and attack um, their defensive breakdowns. Um, I feel like the more we think, uh, focus on ourselves, we don't have to worry about what what they do. Yeah, I think uh, we got to do a really good job of playing for one another, and. I feel like once when we're playing for one another, getting the ball in the paint, like it opens up a lot of opportunities to, for us. So, you know, going in, hopefully every everybody gets like their best snack before the game, and because if they do that, I think we'll have a good job of uh, getting opportunities, and everyone's going to be on fire. I feel like. What uh, I don't even know the best way to put this. What's the key to guarding without fouling and putting teams on the free throw line at the rate you guys have been doing it for a lot of Big Twelve play, especially. I guess it really just depends where we're playing at, at the same time, uh, what, what good whistle you get to. Um, playing the road can be difficult, especially in the environments. And um, what am I saying? That's uh, I'm not like trying to make excuses for that, but I guess it's just like the, the whistle you get that night. Um, but if we continue to, to dictate and enforce how we play defense and we're the aggressors, um, I mean, teams know, refs know how, how physical we play and how the Big 12 plays. So at the same time, they're going to have to let us just play through it. Sorry to pile on the back issue, Caleb, but when you were first trying to play through it, what was the pain? If you were to go one to ten, what was the pain level like? Just as you, you clearly desperately want to stay on the court, but then you got to figure out how to manage it. But what was it like initially? Um, initially, I would say probably like a six. Like it pretty much hurt to do almost everything, like run and get up and down the floor, get in stance, even shooting the ball. So. Felt like I was pretty, I was like a liability out there at first, but now I feel like I've calmed it down. And, you know, I feel like I'm not healthy yet, but like hopefully, like within the next couple of weeks, I'll be back to 100%. So, really for either of you guys, the way Taman played uh, last game, you know, obviously creating for others, but also hunting his shot a little more, how does that open things up entirely for the offense? Uh, it opens up a lot. Um, they're gonna have to respect him more. Continue and as he continues, like I told him, like if he continues just to believe in the work he's putting in and just um, the reps he's getting in with Jr. with his shot. And, I mean, we know that um, he's continuing to trust it. And if he continues to feel good with that and be aggressive with that, they're gonna have to respect him. They're gonna have to play um, not spaced out and not hugging on other players. So uh, just, we just told him to continue just to be aggressive. And that was like last game. It was it was great to see him to continue to be aggressive. Yeah, I think I think everybody on our team knows with uh, summer and our fall workouts and then fall leading into practice, like I think Taman was shooting like 35 to 40 percent from three during practice during those times. So we all have confidence in him shooting the ball. So I think he just I think over time it'll come, but he just transitions like how he played in practice to the games. And I think he'll be much improved by next year for sure. Having one year under his belt, he's going to improve drastically on the three point percentage. So we all have faith in Taman when he shoots the ball. So because we all know he can make that shot. So I think with him 
um, making some shots. It'll help open up the floor and give us even more opportunities than what he already was giving us to begin with. I like dot honey mustard pretzels. I try I try to eat them. What'd you say? I like I like to eat dot honey mustard pretzels before every game. So like I don't know, it's just like kind of like a routine I do before a game. So I like eating dot honey mustard pretzels and yeah. It's kind of my thing. Are you into that, that works, <laughs> I don't have no I don't eat no dots honey mustard pretzels, but I don't really have a snack. I like a smoothie, like tropical smoothie, I have a good smoothie before a pregame, so that's how I was go to.